statements by you and the secretary. Um, secretary said he he would be willing, uh, the U.S. would be willing to help with the Russians and Turks on any aspect of the investigation. Has he had any preliminary contacts with either side or has anyone else in this building? No, not that I'm aware of. Um, are you worried, uh, let me say, are you prepared for what I think is going to be inevitable uh, claims from some parts of Turkey that either the U.S. is somehow responsible or that its uh, protection of Mr. Gulan is somehow involved in this. So I've already seen some stuff on Twitter from prominent individuals suggesting this was a Gulenist uh, plot. Yeah. Um, uh, do you have anything to say about that? Uh, we, we, I've seen some of those uh, claims as well, Brad. Uh, I mean, look, um, this just happened literally, what, not even hours ago. Uh, and there's an investigation which is just now starting. I'm certainly not going to, and I don't think it's helpful for anybody to, to pre prejudge the outcomes of uh, of this investigation. We also have to remember that there's a mourning family out there. Uh, there's a, a diplomat now who, li who, who lay dead uh, and a family who is going through an incredibly tough time, as well as those who were hurt and their loved ones. Uh, so I think that's where we need to stay focused, not on, um, uh, not on uh, you know, needlessly pointing fingers here um, uh, 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 until the investigation has, has had a chance to, to work its way uh, through. As for the United States, as I've said many, many times, uh, well, we have, we, as we always have, continue to support the democratically elected government uh, of Turkey and any suggestion that the United States uh, uh, in any way, shape, or form would be responsible for uh, uh, this act of, uh, of murder and assassination or any other um, uh, related activity uh, uh, to the coup. And I'm not saying this one was. I'm just saying that, it, it, you know, obviously uh, uh, flies in the face of facts. And lastly, um, the Russians say they're going ahead with this uh, tripartite meeting tomorrow. Um, has the U.S. reconsidered uh, or has the U.S. received any any invitation to take part in any way or has, has it asked to be part of this process in any way? No, as far as I know, uh, th th this is, uh, as you've described it, uh, between uh, Russia, uh, Iran, uh, and Turkey. Um, and, uh, and as we've always said, any solutions that can be arrived by any of the parties that can uh, lead to a reduction in the bloodshed, to a cessation of hostilities, to humanitarian aid, and to a resumption of political talks is welcome, whether or not we're at the table. Well, you're not, so you're not an active participant in this diplomatic uh, instance, let's say? No. Okay. Do you consider this assassination as a terror act? I think that's for the investigators to determine. I have I have seen the press reporting as you have of of some of the things shouted by the uh, uh, by the perpetrator, um, but I'm you know we weren't there, and I think it's really important that we let investigators work through this. I certainly couldn't rule out uh, terrorism uh, as a motive uh, or behind this. I wouldn't rule that out at all at this early stage. But I think it's really important that rather than jumping to conclusions, particularly those of us who aren't there and weren't involved. Uh, that we ought to let the investigators do their jobs.